Oftentimes, decks will feature railings attached to the side of a deck instead of resting on top of the deck platform. You can accomplish this in Chief Architect by using the Railing Offset feature. To do this, I'm going to start with this deck I've already drawn. I want to adjust my railings so my newel posts and balusters are attached to the outside rim joist instead of the top of the deck platform. To do this, I will start by selecting one of my deck railings and opening it for specification. On the Rail Style panel, I can choose to horizontally offset the entire railing. A positive value will inset the railing from the edge of the deck platform, and a negative value will move it out from the deck platform. For this example, I want to have my newel posts on the outside of the deck platform, so I'll set my horizontal offset to negative 2.5 inches. If I click OK, you'll see my railing is now offset away from the edge of the deck, but you'll notice it hasn't come down to attach to the rim joist. Next, I'll select the railing again and open it for specification. On the same rail style panel I was on previously, under the top slash bottom section, I can raise or lower the bottom of my balusters. A positive value will raise the bottom above the deck platform, and a negative value will bring it below the top of the deck platform. In this case, since I'm wanting to attach these railings to the rim joist, I will put in a negative 7.5 inches value and click OK. Doing the above steps will offset the entire railing and lower the balusters below the top of my deck platform. I still want to increase the thickness of the newel posts as well as lower the newel posts to attach to the rim joist. To do this, I'll again open my railing and go to the Newels and Balusters panel. On this panel, I can adjust the size and offset of the newel posts of the entire railing. I'll start by changing the width of the newel post to 5.5 inches. I want to have half my newel post on the deck platform and half attached to the rim joist. So I'll change the horizontal offset to 1.5 inches. Just like with the horizontal offset we set earlier, a positive number will move it towards the center of the deck platform, a negative offset will move it away from the center of the platform. I also need to move my newel post down to the proper height against the rim joist. In this instance, I'll set the bottom offset to negative 8 inches. For this design, I also want to adjust the width of my balusters to 1.5 inches and the spacing of my balusters to 9 inches. I'll also change them from round balusters to square balusters. Once I've done all that, I'll click OK. To finish up my design, I'd like to add a little more variety to my railings, as well as move the bottom rail so it's one inch above the deck platform. I'll do this by opening the railing one more time and going to the Rails panel. This will allow me to adjust the size, shape, and position of the rails in relation to the newels and balusters. First thing I'll do is uncheck the full wall width checkbox. This will allow me to adjust the width of the railings as well as the height. If the full wall checkbox is checked, the width of the rails will stay locked to the width of the wall type used to define the railing. Now that I've done that, I want my top rail to be a 2x10 that covers the entire width of my railing. I'll set the width to 9 and a quarter and leave the height at 1.5 inches. I'll also adjust the horizontal offset by 1.5 inches to bring the top rail towards the middle of the railing. Since this railing doesn't have a middle railing, I don't need to adjust any settings for that. I do want to move the bottom rail up so it sits an inch above the deck platform. I'll start by adjusting the size of the rail. I'd like it to still be a 2x4, but oriented vertically instead of horizontally. To do this, I'll change the width to 1.5 inches and the height to 3.5 inches. I want to move this bottom rail to the inside of the railing so the balusters nailed to it, so I'll adjust the horizontal offset to 1 inch. To raise the bottom rail up to proper height, I'll set the vertical offset to 9 inches. This is to cover the 8 inches we set for the bottom of the rail down, plus the extra inch above the top of the deck platform. Now that I've made all the changes I want, I'll click OK to apply these changes to my railing. Now all these changes have been applied to one of my railings in my deck. One of the lesser known features in Sheaf is if you use the same as type edit handle, you can draw one wall or railing over another wall or railing, and it will replace the wall or railing with the properties of the new one. So in plan view, if I click on the railing I made the adjustments to, I can grab the diamond edit handle known as the same as type edit handle, and click and drag over the existing wall to apply my updated settings to the railing on my deck. I'll do this for all the railings on my deck. As you can see, using the different offset features available in the railings, you can create any number of deck railing styles to match your needs.